Hey guys, it's Nick from this here, back with another exciting Dead by Daylight video. I'm just getting over a cold, so excuse me if I sound off. But anyway, earlier this year, Behavior announced they would be collaborating with legendary metal bands Iron Maiden and Slipknot by bringing some cosmetics to the game inspired by the bands. Here's the statement that was released. Honor the legacies of Iron Maiden and Slipknot with two new collections centering around two of metal's most prolific bands. The Iron Maiden collection features outfits inspired by their iconic mascot, Eddie, while the Slipknot collection features nine killer masks that mirror those worn by the band members. That's all that's been revealed regarding this epic collab so far, and this was back in May. I do find it weird we've heard nothing more about this, and it wasn't until a few days ago we got a vague, early 2024 release date confirmation via the devs on Reddit. I'm sad to hear Eddie won't be getting a unique Mori, but oh well. As a killer main, I'm really expecting that most of these costumes are for killers. It would definitely make more sense than having Dwight run around with a Slipknot mask, but who knows. I honestly expect survivors to get band tees with Iron Maiden and Slipknot's logos respectively. There's been plenty iterations of Eddie that could work for different killers, such as the one that wields an axe for Huntress, or even Cyborg Eddie with guns for Deathslinger. I can't wait to see how it's going to look in-game. Being able to chase after survivors as this metal mascot is something I would have never expected. I feel like the costumes will be totally different models for Iron Maiden, whereas the Slipknot ones will most likely just be masks and clothes that the band members wear for killers. This really opens the door for even more awesome metal costumes, and I'm going to be listing some possible ideas from other bands. Of course, with licensing, it's hard to say if we'll ever see any of these, but if the metal cosmetics sell well enough, I expect behavior will continue this trend. If you follow my Mortal Kombat content, you'll know I've talked about Odorous Yurungus from Guar, and how I don't really think he would fit in a Mortal Kombat game. However, I do think given Dead by Daylight is doing metal collabs now, they could fit better here. Odorous and other members of Guar could make for a great knight skin, with Odorous being the main knight and the other members being the other knights that you summon in a match. Of course, they'd have to tone it down a bit to make it work, but I think chasing people as Odorous could be hilarious, and his sword Untlick would make a great replacement for the knight's sword. The guy from Disturbed is another recognizable metal icon. I've always loved his menacing design, and out of any metal icons, he's arguably the most fitting for Dead by Daylight. I'm not too familiar with his lore, so I'm unsure which killer would be most fitting for him as a skin, but I know it would be a badass inclusion nonetheless. Megadeth's Vic Rattlehead is another one that comes to mind. Such a sick and creepy design, it would be a real shame if DBD didn't include him. If they went with a cyborg appearance from the album Dystopia, he would work as a perfect skin for the Skull Merchant, and I would actually play this killer if this was the case. The Honky Punks isn't exclusively a metal band, but they have blended metal into their catalog, so I figured they're worth mentioning. Reverend Terry, lead vocalist and guitarist, would be a sick addition to Dead by Daylight. Having a killer metal priest chase after survivors is badass enough that I shouldn't even have to explain it any further. While this probably will never happen, it would be a dream come true. Terry could be a skin for pretty much any killer in-game. I'm thinking some of the OG killers like Trapper or Hillbilly would be a great fit for him. Motorhead and Metallica are metal bands that need no introduction. I don't expect to see Lemmy running around in-game, unfortunately and Metallica doesn't really have a mascot that could work in-game, so at the very least, I hope we get some band tees for killers and survivors. Maybe even unique chase music inspired by the bands while using these skins. That would be a really cool touch. I'm anxiously awaiting these metal collaborations, and I can't wait to see if Behavior will add more down the road. It's a surprisingly great fit for a horror game like DBD, as a lot of metal mascots are terrifying creatures. I already know for a fact that I'll be killing survivors as Eddie as soon as he drops. What do you think about the upcoming collaborations, and my ideas for possible future ones? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, as always this has been Nick Famous. see you later.